in June around um, 2012 in Zaria, there used to be military checkpoints as you enter Usasa. That particular Friday, the military packed out that the government asked them to go back to the barracks in 2012. And as one concerned, we asked, and they said that's the order from above. Only for us to go, on, go to church on Sunday morning, and the pastor got up during notices and I'm announcing that a letter was sent to church that Boko Haram will visit us, we don't know when. But he's not telling us to scare us, but he's telling us to prepare us. A bomb was planted, a, a, a suicide bomber came into the church with a car to bomb the church. And um, at least I have an experience of what it is to be, to be involved in a terrorist attack. And I got, I got convicted saying, Father, help me, show me mercy and show me how to give you praise. It's at that instance that we heard the sound. I, 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 I can't describe what, what it is like. To the glory of God, I sat where the car blasted, but I don't have a scar to it. But I lived with the stigma for years that if it is said today, it pains me to my core. It seems to me that no one is speaking. Or even when we speak, no one hears us. I'm sure many other people have spoken what I might, I may say. But one thing I know is that I would say the truth because only the truth can set one free. There is problem in Nigeria. The, the church in Nigeria is under attack. It started as Boko Haram, but today in Kaduna State, they enter their villages and kill them. Around Biningwari, hate men, kill people. I live on the road around going to Biningwari. And every time you hear, you hear Sarin, that they, they are carrying dead bodies. People are afraid to travel on that road. Where I come from, Bruno State, if I speak to my, my cousins there, those that have gone to school have nothing doing. Children that are eligible to go to school are afraid because they can be kidnapped. Girls in Chibok have been kidnapped. In, 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 in other places they've been kidnapped and there's no legitimate story about them or their sanity or their person complete. At least if it not affected my siblings in Kaduna, I have relations down there, a friend to my cousin or someone that is related to me. Besides, I'm a Nigerian, and even from where terrorism is eating up people. I want the American government to stand up for the truth, to expose the evil the government is. The, 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 the terrorism in Nigeria is a money-making venture for the government. I want the government, the American government that is superior to Nigerian government to come and find these men, whoever the leaders of this country are in the hems of affairs. There were a time they went for men like Saddam Hussein. There were a time they, they, they killed this, was this man that bombed 9-11, uh, Osama Bin Laden. Nigeria is in hell. The leaders are held responsible. They should come and help us out. Let the American government find the government the way they have funded other nations out and try to put sanity. What is going on is not, is not for the good of the children and women because they are the, they are the end of this. If husbands are, are killed because of Boko Haram, women are meant to suffer. They are meant to carry things that naturally they are not supposed to carry. People live in hunger. They cannot eat or feed. People are in poverty. Schools are locked down for no reason, for no legitimate reason. They say Corona. They, they carry Corona and forget that there are other dead, deadly diseases around that kill more than Corona. They are not talking about malaria that kill babies. They succeed to eradicate the, the elderly from our midst.